Good morning, New Yorkers. Welcome to the vlog. Subscribe if you're new. Got a lot of new people here. Keep subscribing, comment, say hello. We love that. Today is a work day. I have to work from 11 to 7. So I'll get home and I'll still have a little bit of time, which I love that. I don't know what we're going to do yet. Probably a chill evening. Cook something. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I have not got that far. But let's do a fit check and then we have to go to work. So all black, of course, work attire. This top is free people. Um, love like the loose sleeve on it. It's really, I don't know, it's giving like business kind of class. Very, the material's super nice on it. And then the back, it's actually an open back. Just kind of has like a tie in the middle but I have a tank top under underneath to keep it work appropriate. And then these pants are H&M, slick hair with my front pieces kind of tucked in, classy, right? And then my shoes, we're going with the slide on Uggs. Super cute, super comfortable, slides right on. Love them and their platform. Let's go to work. Got my lunch bag ready got lunch and a snack airpods is my work bag it's a base work bag and i absolutely love it got a book in there fan let's go from Urban Decay. Look at how pretty. Oh, I can't wait to get home, cook some dinner. I, I think I'm going with some salmon this evening. Makeup check. where my headphones go <laughs> on my head oh my gosh that's so funny slash embarrassing I'm crying <laughs> that breeze that beautiful autumn breeze that's blowing in feels so good but girl it still gets so hot especially when you're carrying home like luggage so I stopped at the grocery store I will do a quick haul I actually stopped at Target beforehand and then um, on when I got off stopped at Ulta and also stopped at Fairway for some grocery groceries and there was some sales that I wanted on the 21 days of beauty today so let's see what I got okay so at fairway I got diet Arizona iced tea which is sweet it's just zero calorie artificially sweetened um, they were out of my Snapple sugar free and it was on sale for two dollars so obviously that's why they were out of it I was just late to the party so this will do me just fine and it's a little bigger than the Snapple anyway so I'm sure it'll be delish. Then this was also on sale at Fairway, the um, Faroe Island salmon. I have not tried this one, I don't believe. I don't think. $17 for over a pound, 1.22. Um, I'll see how it tastes. It looks like it's gonna be nice and meaty, delicious. And then also I grabbed some broccoli crowns. A lot of two big ones not a lot they were just oh they're heavy I grabbed the good ones two big broccoli crowns um, I got at Target heavy whipping cream two of them they're cheaper 
than any other like grocery store surrounding me. So I go ahead and get these at Target. And I don't know if you're in a similar city or in the city, these whipped creams are also like $3 cheaper. And they have different, like this one's the extra creamy, delish. This one is the marshmallow flavor. It's so good. And then of course, the iconic pumpkin spice, seasonal. But these are $3 and like 19 cents, where at Fairway, the whipped cream is $6 and something cents. So, and the same thing with these, significantly cheaper at Target. Uh, I got thin sliced chicken breast for my keto breaded chicken and is that the groceries yes that is the groceries now for ulta all of these all three of these were on sale for the 21 days of beauty they were half off so by the time this goes up unfortunately they won't be on sale but like these were ten dollars and they're urban decay lipsticks and then this is Lola V, their glossing detangler. I got this last year at the beauty sale and I really love it. Like you can literally, as you pull it through your hair, you can feel the softness, just like it, it softens your hair and your fingers run right through it. This is Jennifer Aniston's brand. And I have to say, what I've tried has not disappointed. And then this as well, so this was $13. This Fenty Beauty setting powder, the Pro Filter, it's giving Givenchy, which if you've been watching me and my beauty videos, you know the Givenchy setting powder is absolutely my fave. What's interesting about this is that it's in the shade Lavender. So, and from what I've read about Lavender is it's great for neutral skin tones. My skin is a very neutral tone. Um, it almost can pull a little yellow. So I figured, let me try this and see what lavender does. Packaging, um, so sleek, so stunning, and like it's truly like a lavender, almost lilac color. I'm really like super stoked to open her up and try her. Urban Decay, these are the Vice lipsticks, High Impact Vegan Lipsticks, and I got the shade June Gloom and Horchata. Okay, this is June Gloom. I feel like it would be such a beautiful like center of the lip topper. It's gorgeous and it's got this beautiful shine to it. And this is Horchata, this beautiful kind of brown, but it's not too deep of a brown to where it would look super super bold on me it's so pretty i swatched it in the store and it's gorgeous so with fall coming up i think this will be gorgeous okay so first things first i made myself a cup of iced tea delish great way to start your evening at home i also need to finish uploading today's video actually so not this one but Hopefully you'll have watched that one by the time you get to this one because I have to finish uploading it. Just have to do like the little behind the scenes work, tagging it, tagging whatever product, blah, blah, blah. And then what am I gonna do? Uh, probably cook some dinner, wait a little bit because I'm not hungry right now. Probably cook some salmon and brocks, a little broxmas. And then what are we doing? Relaxing, dude. I'm gonna turn on American Horror Story and we're going for it. Change into my at home shirt. You already know the deal. Uh, before we sit down and do anything, let's light a little fall candle. Enjoy this moment, shall we? So, we've already burned. This one has been burned. Obviously, it's burned down pretty well. The smell that this one diffuses, that or that this one gets gives off, it's from Nest and it is not overpowering. Like it just gives off just the right amount. She's a little pricey, but she, I can see why. Don't want to light the ghost buddies yet. Also want to wait to light our little pumpkin girly over here. So that leaves us with this one. Hello fall. Nobody has to know. 
just got the video posted. Super exciting. Go watch it if you haven't after this one, of course. Now, uh, let's uh, do some cooking, some prep work for dinner slash other meals throughout the week. Oh, and if you don't already, follow me on TikTok. It's a good time. We have a lot of fun posting funny things, also posting like day in the life, NYC stuff. So yeah, you should hit that follow on the TikTok. Dude, the difference between, okay, 35,000 followers on TikTok, right? Now come and look at Instagram. Only 6,796 followers. Isn't that funny? This one is more, this um, page is more like, like on my story, I post everyday stuff and it's kind of like more current, I guess you would say, like lip stuff, um, NYC fall, that cool commercial I did, and the nails that I love, outfits, you know, like just kind of everyday vlog kind of type stuff and pictures as well. So give me a follow, say hi. We love that. How silly. 35,000 on TikTok, 36,000 here, and 6,000 on Instagram. <laughs> I was calling to see if you're free to run away with me. To run away with So much delicious broccoli. Oh, this will last me like three days. <laughs> Okay, nice and hot. I breaded, I keto breaded the salmon and it just gives it like a beautiful slight crunch. It's delicious, doesn't change the flavor or anything. And then of course I have steamed myself some broccoli, a little protein, a little brock, keto friendly and delish. Oh my gosh, clean bowl and full belly. I am stuffed, that was so delish. Okay, really quickly, before I start winding things down, I need to take these clean sheets and, uh, I mean rags and stuff, but clean bedding and put this on the bed. Coffee's ready. Colleen sink. Dish is done. Counter and stovetop. Colleen. Okay, so face is scrubbed, clean, double cleansed. Went in with the peach and lily soap. And then after that, went in with this uh, La Roche. So good. So good. But I keep like, just feels like there's stuff going on like underneath. You know, so I'm gonna do the pumpkin enzyme mask from Revision. Um, it's pumpkin, hello fall. And it's also just a very like a gentle yet potent face scrub. So let's do this tonight. I'll let it sit on, lightly scrub in the mask and leave on for 15 to 20. Remove with warm water. All right, let's do it.